If New York is the melting pot, then Fish City can only be described as the booyah base. Trust me, being a good cop in a bad town can be murder. Fish City's a swell place to live. And it ain't a bad place to eat, either. Trust me, I'm a cop. And if cops know anything, it's crime, coffee, and cuisine. You can go the fast food route at Weenie King, or you can dine the leisurely old-fashioned way at Pearl's. It's simple, home-style cooking. Yep, Pearl's, my AM hangout. Good friends, good food, good coffee. Yo, know, you ever notice we're like an old married couple? Goodbye. We watch the morning news together, we eat breakfast together. Too bad the only ring I have to show for it is the one under your coffee cup. The whole town's talking about the 33rd annual Miss Fish City Beauty Contest to be held this weekend, sponsored once again by Weenie King. Has it really been a year since that stupid, stupendous, senseless, sensational, muddy, marvelous beauty contest? The contestants also include Miss Angel Jones, singer at the popular Shell Shack nightclub. Huh, like she doesn't get enough exposure on stage every night? Come on, Pearl, a classy chassis like that deserves a showroom. Yeah, and everyone in town has taken her for a test drive. Hmm. You think she likes me? You got 20 bucks? Yeah. She likes you. Huh? Oh. Ooh. We could sure use a secretary around here. Hmm. Fish police, Goldie speaking. Oh, hi, Angel. Yeah, we saw it. You'll be wearing spandex in the swimsuit competition. Even money on Angel. It's for you. Hi, Angel. What can I do for you? Well, I'm soaking in the tub. You could come over and scrub my back. For starters. Uh, th th thanks for the offer, Toots, but I'm strictly a shower fish. And right now I could use a cold one. So, you ready for the beauty contest this weekend? I'm so excited. I've reserved you a seat. It'll mean so much to me, Gil, knowing you're behind me. Uh, gotta go, Angel. Break a fin. Are you using police department equipment for personal gain? Well, let's hope so. How much you in for, Chief? Not this year. Our beloved mayor volunteered my services as a judge. He's relying on my impartiality, my keen eye, and the fact that he's my boss. You've raised dorsal kissing to an art form, Chief. Don't forget who your boss is, Gil. Anyone else need reminding? No, we know who our boss is. Good. Could we please get back to work? Police work? Hey, what do you guys know about Weenie King? What don't we know, Detective Catfish? Whether it's mealtime or in between, you can't go wrong with a Weenie King weenie hot dog. What in the name of Neptune is that? My weenie whistle. The waltzing weenie gave it to me when I was a kid. Oh, I'll never forget how she smiled, how she smelled, and that beautiful spotted tail. I love seeing her every year at the Miss Fish City Beauty Contest. Hot dog! Well, there may not be a contest this year. If it isn't the Big Weenie King himself. Wow! 
your K to my friends, y'all. And I got a little problem here. My annual beauty contest being demoralized by disturbing and distasteful threats of violence. If the contest runs, I'll burn your buns. So if you dare, let the beauties beware. Do you have any enemies, W.K.? Well, no. Unless you count the two brothers I cheated out of the family fortune, my three ex-wives, or the 196 employees I laid off last week. Well, it's a start. Don't worry. That contest is a fish city tradition, just like your hot dogs and Pearl's apple pie. I'd lay down and die before I'd let anything happen to those beauties. My compliments, sir. Gil, looks like you and Catfish better keep an eye on those contestants. It's a dirty job, Chief, but somebody's got to do it. Tad, I need a file on, on every, every employee who's, who's ever worked, worked for Weenie King. I got it, sir. Please, guys, you got to let me tag along on this case. I was weaned on Weenie King weenies. Sure, kid. Now go. Catfish, I'd say this note was written by someone with a bad case of weenie envy. There I was, the one in charge of security, two weeks away from nailing any one of a hundred suspects with a thousand different motives, and the contest was eight hours away, and counting. I was lousy at arithmetic, but I knew that added up to trouble. I wasn't kosher around here, and I wasn't talking hot dogs. Keeping the beauty contestants safe was taking up all my time. On the other fin, I was having the time of my life. But time was running out for the scum who was scaring these skirts. This is Connie Coy from KELP, reporting live from the Miss Fish City Beauty Contest. I'm standing here with Police Chief Abalone, one of tonight's judges. Chief, we've heard that the beauty contestants have been terrorized for the past week. What's the FCPD doing about it? For the last 48 hours, Inspector Gill has stayed right on top of the contestants. Uh, I mean, he's handling everything. Uh, I mean, it's under control, Connie. And now, a fish who needs no introduction. You all know him, you all love him. And apparently, somebody voted for him. Mayor Cod. Mayor Cod, any comments? You know, Connie, it's always been my contention that the finest looking females in the entire ocean are our own homegrown fish city beauties. Actually, Your Honor, I was referring to the threats against the beauty contestants. Threats? What threats? They didn't mention me, did they? Hmm? Well, did they? Well, 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 well should I go home? Put the entire amount on Angel. Gee, a whole dollar. I've never seen one all by itself before. The slime suit contest is down the hall, fellas. Well, Calamari, anything you want to tell me about the Weenie King threats? The boss does not concern himself with hot dog eatery. Now, should you ask who pulled the stick up at Chez Poisson last year? I think what my associate means is we're we'll right to become privy to any information. Strictly hearsay, of course. I'd be happy to share it with Fish City's finest, or if necessary, with the police. Nobody gets in or out of this place without us knowing about it. Fitzig, you take the east exit. Chambers, take the west exit. Trujillo, check the basement. And Dabbleman, you go long. Hmm. Gives new meaning to the words lip service. Oh. 
Pearl, you're the last fish in the ocean I expected to see here. Obviously. Believe me, I'm only here to bring my baby brother dinner, not to condone this despicable display of female fish flesh. Now, where's Tad? Helping me out. Anything for me? Looks like you're getting enough already. Oh, hi, Pearl. You here to offer support? Why? Looks like your maiden form's already putting in overtime. Oh! I don't know you from Neptune, but I sure hope you win. Me too. Oh, I've never been past the reef before. Imagine touring the entire ocean for a whole year. Did you say the winner goes out of town for a whole year? Sure, it comes with the crown. Just think, if I win, I'd... A whole year? As in 365 days and nights? I'll help Angel win. Allow me. Ah, <sighs> dames. Welcome, ladies and gentlefish, to the 33rd Annual Miss Fish City Beauty Contest. I'm Bob Sharks, your master of ceremonies. Now, let's give a big Fish City welcome to the Waltzing Weenie. Together it's mealtime, we're in the tweenies. You can't go wrong with a weenie king weenie. Hot dog. Hey, you're not the Waltzing Weenie I remember. Don't tell anybody, but I just got this gig two weeks ago. Hope you have a good health plan. Yes. I'm Inspector Gill. I'm on the case. Uh, Bob will be right back. That reminds me, this lobster walks into a psychiatrist's office and... Thank you, Inspector Gill. And now, our parade of lovelies. A little more, but not anymore. Oh, for the love of Pike, I just wanted to fix the suit. There, that's better. Oh, well. Now, Angel, you go out there and show them this dirty ocean has a beacon of grace, beauty, and purity. Float tall, float proud, float those babies. Gee, Pearl, you've been so nice to me. You're the sweetest, kindest. You're on, honey. Please, Neptune, don't let her talk. And to achieve my goal to become a nuclear physicist or a spokesmodel, so that fish of every species may someday swim together in peaceful waters. How about that? Thank you, Tetra. How far do those fins go? A lot further than you will. Uh, and now, Angel, your question. How should Miss Fish City work to represent her public? Actually, I do my best work in private. But I also think Miss Fish City should be a beacon of grace, beauty, and purity in this dirty ocean. And if I'm crowned, I promise to float tall, float proud, and float those babies. Thank you. Thank you, Angel. While the judges hand in their decisions, let me remind you that if Miss Fish City cannot fulfill her obligations for any reason, the first swimmer up will take her place. And now, a word from our sponsor. Thank you, sir. You saved my beauty contest. You're a car for your world. Well, we're not out of the seaweed yet. There's still a terrorist fish floating out there somewhere. By the way, whatever happened to the old waltzing weenie? Her buns gave out. And the first swimmer up is... Detra Kineski! And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, the new Miss Fish 
city is... Come on, Angel Baby, drive it home for Pearl. Angel Jones! Stay tuned, and Fish Police will be right back. The contest was over, but my job wasn't. The file had come through on WK's employees, and they were all as clean as my whistle, except one. Tad, get me the hate, hate note sent to, to WK. WK. Right here. Ah, uh, sir. Oh, Gil, it's so incredible. Pinch me. I must be dreaming. Pinch me. Pinch me. Now I must be dreaming. Oh, Mr. Calamari, the Shell Shack is losing its headliner for a year. How do you feel about that? Angel's victory tonight has moved Mr. Calamari beyond purple expression. That is to say, no comment. Why wasn't I warned this could happen before Angel entered this stupid contest? I could have fixed it. What am I supposed to do for the next year while she's out spreading goodwill? Have muscles go on stage and belly dance? Well, I did study modern jazz in my youth. Shut up, you idiot. Anybody suspicious? Nope. Perhaps the terrorist prefers Dijon. <laughs> what are we smelling for? Inspector Gill says a combination of perfume and weenies. What? Oscar Mar de la Renta? <laughs> what are they sniffing for? Clue, sir. I'm following a hunch. Hey, things won't be the same without you, doll. I'll miss you too, Crab. Ladies and gentlefish, I think it's time to hear from the lady of the evening, my dear. I want to personally thank each and every one of you for being here tonight. Your friendship fills me up with such a warm feeling inside. It's hard for me to say goodbye. I'll miss you. And you, and especially you more than words can say. So before I go, I'd like to give each and every one of you a big, wet kiss. We're getting close. I know she's here. I can feel it in my gut. Sure it's a she, sir? Sure, I'm sure. I've known she's from he's since I was 13, Tad. Fish police! Freeze! Somebody grab that weenie! Waltzing Weenie. <gasps> For 20 years, I played the Waltzing Weenie with relish. Till last month, WK told me my fins were shot and my shells were sagging, so he canned me. Well, what was I supposed to do? She couldn't cut the mustard anymore. <gasps> years of faithful service, and then I'm flushed down the turlet like a dead goldfish. Who here would put up with that? Not this fish, sister. Show me this bottom feeder. What a creep. Oh. I'm taking the Weenie King Empire down. I'm going to sue your buns off. My card. We have an excellent case against him. Well, I'm going to press charges. My card. We have an excellent case against her. You're gonna have to get in line, W.K. The city has a few charges of its own against her. I hate to do this to you, Shelly, 
But the only waltzing you'll be doing for a while is with a warden named Wide Wanda. After what you drove this poor fish to do, I'm officially off, Weenie King Weenies. No more weenies! No more weenies! Now, Shelly, <clears throat> well, perhaps I've been a little harsh. I tell you what, when you get out of Slammer, honey, you look me up and I'll put you right back on the payroll. Mm. I'll see you in five to ten. Stiff upper shell, kiddo. If my shells had been stiffer, I'd still be the waltzing weenie. Now, weren't you about to make that going far, far away speech? Winning is important, but not as important as losing. Gil, I almost lost you tonight. So what am I, chop squid? And my beloved benefactor, Mr. Biscotti Calamari. Whatever would I do without him? It's questions like that to keep me awake at night. And Pearl, you're the first female friend I've ever had. I couldn't bear to lose you either. Or any of my friends. So... Tetra, you are the new Miss Fish City. Float tall, float proud, and I forget the rest. What you do, Gil? Propose? Angel won the beauty contest. That was good. She gave the crown to Tetra. That was bad. At least Pearl thought so. We solved the Weenie King case. That was good. It turned out to be my beloved waltzing weenie. That was bad. At least I thought so. Let's see. If we enter Angel in the Miss Seven Seas contest, that's at least seven places she'd be gone to. Oh, and when you factor in lost luggage, it could be years before she comes back. Oh, oh, here's one. Miss Polar Ice Cap. Exactly how far away is the Arctic Ocean? Pearl, you're being silly. Sensible. Stubborn. Supportive. Sweetheart. Mm -hmm. you a couple of salmon they got places upstream for that kind of thing you know people gotta eat off that counter what's the matter with you i wish i had a video camera with skill and grace the ice capades glide into cbs tomorrow night two hours of awe-inspiring stunts laughs and touching moments the ice capades tomorrow on cbs now get ready for tequila and bonetti next Thank you.